are actually going to encase that headspace in CO2, which will, it's a protective blanket, so absolutely no oxygen can get to the wine. And what's really cool is if there's any gas in it, it's another step of helping to degas the wine. All right. I'm going to As we just set this on here, I have the all-in-one set up with this hose on the vacuum side. So we install the headspace limiter and carboy, and you know, as you see now with that adapter on there, the adapter just makes the vacuum side hose the proper size to fit on there. Okay, and then. Uh, we're going to be turning this on and what it'll do is it's going to start sucking all the oxygen through the vacuum pump. And once it reaches nine inches, nine inches of vacuum, you'll see the bulb collapse. <coughs> and that's an indicator that you have the carboy, it's, it's under vacuum. But the, what I really love about this, not only that, if there's CO2 in it, you'll see it start bubbling up because once it reaches 14 inches of vacuum, you'll hear the pump start to strain a little bit and the vacuum will be getting to its highest point, which is 22, 24. While that's going on, it's actually pulling CO2 up out of there. So once it reaches that point where you hear the vacuum pump straining a little bit, you just shut it off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, go ahead and start it up and you'll see that this don't take much at all. All right, there it's clapped, so it's reached nine. Now it's working its way up to around 14, where if there is any CO2 in there, you'll see it to start to bubble up. And I gotta tell you, when I just rack this, you also pull CO2 out racking with the all-in-one. I got very little out of it, so apparently time has done its job on degassing. But that isn't always the case, as a lot of you found out, so. If you use the old style of uh, using a whip and a drill degassing, uh, I think you would uh, seriously want to consider going to this process. All right, well, I'm listening to the pump. It's reaching that higher pitch level, which tells me that it's getting to uh, strain a little bit. I usually go no more than a minute. Most of the time, a little less than a minute. All right. So I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, I see a couple of bubbles here and there, but there you go. Yeah, we're getting a little bit now. I don't know, hope you can see this in the video. Right there. So see, we are getting a little bit of CO2 out of there. <laughs> Your job there is done. All right. Very simple. Pop the hose off, grab the white cap, which is just a little extra protection. Just barely push it on. Do not push it past that knurl. You'll regret it. I've already done it. Rookie mistake. All right, there you go. As simple as that. I mean, I really don't know how much easier that can be. And suck me into his life a crime. <laughs> Steve, I love your products. Once again, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. This uh, all-in-one Headspace Eliminators does the job.